<laughs> um, it was definitely pretty big. Uh, it, it increased the lead by three, and um, we did just use that and the energy of the crowd to just keep going in the next quarter. <laughs> Elena, especially late in the game, it seemed uh, you were getting more and more, I guess, aggressive, maybe a little more angry. Just uh, how good were you feeling in that second half, and then what were you seeing from Kentucky's defense to allow you to get open? Um. Well, honestly, the things that I saw from Kentucky's defense, it was like split second things. And, you know, and that split second is either you, t you run with it or you don't. Um, a lot of times I didn't, but um, fortunately I had my partner out there and we were able to finish a lot of it. But, um, yeah, they, they definitely um, they definitely brought um, a lot of aggressiveness in everything and they tried to really uh, bring the hammer down on us. But um, thankfully we were able to find ways to get through that. <coughs> For both Asia and Elena, Monday obviously is that big game. People have been thinking about for a long time. How ready do you guys feel uh, coming into that uh, for the showdown? Um, I think we're all ready for it. Uh, I think we're just, I mean, we're not going to change up anything. Uh, we're going to practice the way we practice, watch film the way we watch film. And just, I mean, it's a big game, but it's still a game. I think we're just going to take it all in, um, seize the moment, really. And I think we're all ready. I think both teams are ready. And uh, I think the Colonial Life Arena is ready as well. <laughs> With that, you know, it's not a conference game. It's probably not going to affect seating or anything like that, but it's still a huge game. Just how do you kind of balance it with it being such a huge game and knowing that it's not an SEC contest? I mean, we, we see UConn as every other opponent that we play. You can't treat anybody any differently. They're the top team in the nation. We got to play them like they're the top team in the nation. We just got to do what we do and bring what we contribute to the table, whether we have nine people, where we have a full roster, everybody's going to do what they have to do in order to contribute towards that game. <clears throat> Obviously, there was a lot of hype around surrounding last year's game against UConn. Um, is there still a sour taste in your guys' mouth based on how that how that game ended up, and you guys didn't have this this Monday night's game pretty much circled on your calendar? Um, I think it is. I think we uh, I think it really kind of helped us. I think we really learned from that game and knowing that, like I said before, it's a different style of basketball out there. And I think we really do have that sour taste in our mouth. I think we have it from the Final Four still. And I think we're just going to feed off of that, really. We're, we are a different team from last year, but uh, I still think that we're capable of doing what we have to do if we just stick with the system. David? Two questions. First of all, does Khadija ever make shots like that in practice? Does she try them, or was that completely out of the ordinary? Mm. I think the only other time Khadija has made that shot was when we were, was it Hawaii? Yeah. I think we were in Hawaii. That's the only other time. We don't, well, besides Tiffany and uh, Tina. Tina practicing with Coach after shoot arounds, but Dee's not normally out there. I mean, she has she's her gifted. moments, and she's two for two for those, right. so hey, don't and, and complain and, about it. And, and, and secondly, there were so many times where you guys seemed to instinctively know where the other was, whether it was tipping a rebound to somebody or, or a little pass to somebody. Does that just come from playing together or just the two of you just are, are so used to one another that you always kind of know where the other one is in, in, in the paint? I just feel like it's a mixture of both. I mean, I've been with, like, dang, since 11 years <laughs> old, since we had to hold socks up with our rubber bands. <laughs> uh, so, I mean... That's just how we play. I feel like that's one of our advantages over some teams. Is we've been playing together for so long that we just know each other very well and knowing just where to put the ball and knowing that no one's up there with us. And so we really have that advantage. And I, I think it really comes in handy sometimes. It's that undeniable chemistry. chemistry. <laughs> AJ, was that your first technical in your career? <laughs> yeah. I, I, the last time I got a technical was like in eighth grade at Heathwood. So that was my first tech. <laughs> oh, what was the explanation you got on it? Uh... Nothing. Yeah, I don't really even know. <laughs> Try to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> or for Eli the bear. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ladies.